Okay, so to create first our object, let's zoom out a little bit more. Okay, and we'll go to in terrain right here, terrain tab. We'll go add terrain. We'll go to displacement shaders and create the crater shader. We use the shader before when we create a lake in our other tutorial. So if you need to look on more of this depth, how every property work, I'll recommend for you to check that tutorial. But one thing what I want to mention right here, it's depth. Currently it's at 100. And you notice we can slide the slider all the way to the zero, but it doesn't go more far away. The beauty in a Turgent 3, it's actually allowed you a quite a bit flexibility. So you can actually go inside and type different positive or negative numbers and work with this. Sometimes it's gave you very unexpected result, but in most cases work very well. So I'm going just to type 1000. It's a one kilometer height. And you notice it start going up. So it's create a very nice displacement for us at this point. Again, notice this is as a depth, it's a displacement inside our terrain. Okay, let's move our camera here. And this has created very nice shape. This is very rough shape, but I don't want to have this um, kind of spherical effect. I want to apply more volcanic effect to do this. So to do this, I want to go inside here and add another displacement. Here's kind of understand how displacement work. In some cases, will need put it to apply properly displacement on properly side we actually need to be sure we have it correct normals coming from this normals it's one from one age you have it kind of output so as example right here we have it our surface terrain and normals will be going parallel perpendicular to the surfaces out so when we start calculating how placement the system will calculate the but because we have it our terrain and we applied additional displacement already, let's see what's happening if we try to add more displacement on the sides or the surfaces. So for this one, I want to go again in terrain, displacement shader, and I want to just use power fractal shader. So you'll notice I add right on the side. And when I'm going inside, and for example, let's say I want amplitude just to test apply 200 you'll notice it's applied to every place but it doesn't apply on my horizontal ones so if i want to do this i want to change mine from along the normals which currently go straight up you remember surface i want them switch to the literal but notice right here when you press down it says actually require computed normals so it does require we have it computed done before that if we're going and switch to the lateral which is side you'll notice it's a stop affecting what we need to do we need to take this power fractal and putting after compute normals so let's look how the compute terrain is working again this is just will be kind of the rough um, understanding. So if you want to work in specific details and how it's work, I do recommend for you check the Planet uh, Side Wiki for their documentations about how specific node is working. So right here we'll look and you see we have our terrain and we have this node. Normals coming out so we can compute. So what's happening if you apply different displacement? And currently we have it one more displacement. So now we have it all these different normals going. We don't have it general. So when we start calculating above, we don't know to which one need to be calculated. And it's what's happened now when you do compute terrain. It's kind of generalized. It's creating those normals and removing other ones. This is very rough, very simple explanation. It's actually required more calculation and math how it's work. But overall, just give you simple understanding what it does. It is take areas that you specify and analyzing all these normals and creating 
general normal based on that. So in another words, right here we can specify size of the guarding patch when it's taken with those normals and creating one normal that we can use for our next work. So we'll just leave it 20 as a default. Again, we can enable smooth surface, which is great leave it better on grading, but currently just leave everything as default. And all what we need to do is just take our this power shader. And we'll just put it between. Notice when I change, the shape is changed as well. And that is actually what I'm going for. I'm going to change generic shape of this um, kind of heel. Let's go open and work on a little bit properties. Currently, you can see in preview window right here, it's, we have a quite bit rough shape. To reduce shape, we want to increase our feature scales. And we can go ahead and, for example, put it like 200 as example. And we want to reduce small scale. Smaller scale, again, if you we look before in this power of fractal, and it is how low is detail we're going. We don't need it that low, so we can go 10. It should work okay. We leave it lead scale as default. And right here in displacement, actually, I want to add maybe a couple more effects. First, tweaking nose. Right now, it's look purling, but I want to create more like volcanic looking. So for that, I want to use it um, below's pearl. So it's you can say it's create this rough kind of interesting effects on my rock. Again, let me look more. I maybe want to pop up even higher create a large boulder kind of effect. The problem is when we create a large this effect, we're reducing some of the small features. And that time we start losing all this teeny tiny details on our surface. But that is okay because we will go and add them in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and smooth just a little bit more of our object so we reduce some all this roughness in a rock just increase overall um thickness of the rock okay let's go look on a scale that is look good okay let's pop up even just maybe a little bit higher see how much it will give it to us not as right now because i'm applying here it's apply to all of my terrain even it's kind of to some place they don't want to apply. And remember before we spoke about some masking. So what I want to do, I want mask area where this effect applied. Simple shape up affecting this small area so we don't affecting far away. All what we need to do is we take this simple shape and going to power mask shader. Notice right now on our back mountains, we stop affecting this. And this is kind of what I'm going for. The also, because I want to create volcanic, let's go inside our fractal terrain overall and switch this mellows as well. Just so it's kind of look a little bit more uniform. Okay, right now I want to go ahead and render. And let's preview what we have. It. I can see right now it's look kind of interesting, but maybe not... Um, Maybe a bit more details, a little bit too big, still be okay for me. So I'm going to open and right here, just work a little bit more. So we add a hundred on these details. Let's pop up this one to 600. We'll go inside the displacement. We can increase displacement altitude and also pop up um, a little bit on offset. I'm going to experiment a little bit, so I'm going to add even larger scale. I can see overall its emplacement and increase displacement as well. Again, this is have this rough, rough effect for me. I do not like how it's applied on the bottom, and I need to rework a little bit on this. And we'll do again with additional mask. Okay, as well, we can 
take if sometimes bring too close inside we can take offset and you can increase a little bit offset to remove some internal details to smooth out overall look okay let's go ahead tweak noise we'll set okay right here and increase our glass smoothness a little bit more okay let's go ahead preview and I can see it's look very nice, very smooth, general shape. So now I can work on those small details on this place. Also, before we going to next part, let me fix a little bit of those faraway mountains. Because we have a fractal terrain right here. I'm going to same things. I'm just going to reduce size right here we'll go to displacement actually noise smooth a little bit area and take roughness a little bit down so we'll have a nice smooth kind of matching on our back and let's look right here also our roughness Just readjusting, you know, maybe take the scale down because our roughness is applied. So this is look kind of nice. Interesting shape of the rock. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more details in the next um, portion of the tutorial.